All right, what is up, everybody? ADS Play 101 here, and welcome to the P Pokemon Unite public test server. And it is Thursday, August 29th, and it is the second week in the public test server releases of the next three Pokemon. Last Thursday, we took a look at Armor Rogue, and this week we're going to be taking a look at Darkrai, who is the latest speedster coming to Aos Island. So, taking a look at his moves now just forget some of the icons they didn't set the icons uh properly for him you know th this is a test server version so don't expect too much so his basic attack his basic attacks made against sleeping pokemon will become boosted attacks with increased range boosted attacks deal damage to opposing pokemon with an attack from a void and restore the user's hp okay his passive is called bad dreams the Pokemon deals damage over time to nearby sleeping Pokemon, sleeping opposing Pokemon. The damage dealt by this ability will not wake the opposing Pokemon. Opposing Pokemon affected by this ability take increased damage from the next attack. Okay. So his first set of moves, his, his first beginner move is Hypnosis. The user has the user employ hypnotic suggestion in the designated direction dealing damage to the opposing pokemon it hits and making them fall asleep for a short time and his first set of moves after that he has dark void has the user fire balls of darkness at the opposing pokemon in the area of effect dealing damage and marking them when the user deals damage to a mark opposing pokemon the marks are removed and the opposing pokemon falls asleep the upgrade applies a slowing effect when applying a mark to an opposing pokemon okay and uh last of his first moves is called shadow claw has the user slash the designated direction with sharp claws made from shadows dealing damage applying a slowing effect and marking opposing pokemon it hits when the user deals damage with this move a second time the mark opposing pokemon when a user d deals damage with this move a second time to a mark opposing Pokemon, the mark is removed and the opposing Pokemon falls asleep. When this move hits, this move can be used again and the user deals damage to the designated Pokemon, designated opposing Pokemon with huge claws. This damage increases if there are opposing Pokemon that activated bad dreams around the user. Um, the upgrade increases the damage dealt and his second set of moves he has calm mind has the user quietly focus its mind and increase the special attack and special defense and movement speed for a short time uh, he has nasty plot has the user gain one nasty plot counter while moving in a designated direction a maximum of two nasty plot counters can be stored when the user uses its next basic attack or boosted attack the user consumes all nasty plot counters and deals da additional damage based on the number of counters consumed and the upgrade resets this move's cooldown when an opposing pokemon falls asleep okay and then he has dark pulse has the user hide in the shadows and create six additional shadows around itself while the shadows are active the user can freely move between them this move gains this move can be used again two times when this move is used again the user appears from a shadow while releasing a horrible aura imbued with ill intent dealing damage to opposing pokemon it hits while the user is hiding in a shadow it can use shadow claw to attack with claws from that shadow and deal damage to the designated opposing pokemon and the upgrade grants the user a shield when this move hits and then his unite move is called worst nightmare has the user send the designated pokemon into a nightmare then the user then suddenly appears in the nightmare pokemon inside the nightmare take damage over time when the user deals damage to the pokemon inside the nightmare damage is also dealt to that same pokemon outside of the nightmare when this move is used all the user's moves cooldowns are reset oh damn so this is so this move is a is a complete reset hmm now there's one thing just off the back that gets me his calm mind it said it raises special attack and special defense i'm assuming that dark cry being a physical attacker in the test server is just something that they did and they're going to change him to a special attacker in the main game we have hypnosis 
Oh, that puts him to sleep for a little bit. Calm Mind increases his, uh... His special attack. So I'm assuming that's what they expect him to... And he has little claws that come out. That must be the voids that they're talking about. Them little claws that shoot out. That is going to be a dangerous move. Early game, that hypnosis is, is wild. We're going to start off with a uh, with dark void. We're going to start off with that. And then just to speed things up, we're going to do nasty plot because I actually want to see how nasty plot works. So dark void shoots that fireball out and he gets poked with like a bunch of, it seems like a bunch of little void monsters and all that starts hitting him. If you play Street Fighter 6, it's basically like JP's uh, traps. That's what that reminds me of. And then it turns into a boosted attack where the little void spikes come out and, uh, and hit him. Depending on how many times you hit him. Yeah, like that. that that's crazy. And they do a lot of damage. So how the hell are you supposed to build up two counters? Or are you just supposed to hold on to it until you get another? Oh, okay. So you're not supposed to just throw them both out. With Nasty Plot, you're just supposed to, I guess, just save them up. And then wait. And then it just hits them with a, a bunch of void spikes. Well, let's see. What does Nasty Plot say? Has to use a game one Nasty Plot while moving in the direction. Two can be stored when the user uses his next basic attack. All nasty plots are con are consumed, and the number of damage and the amount of damage increases. So this is a catch up move, and it's a almost like a a basic attack power up. Now Shadow Claw. that seems to put him to sleep after a certain number of hits let's get the cooldowns on just so that we can see what we're dealing with okay so after you do that you gain another attack so put the cooldowns back on yeah okay so he sends out the little crevice of shadows that hits and then immediately after that you get another shadow claw that hits him okay so that's not bad and then with dark pulse he move oh shoot looks like he playing whack-a-mole hold on bro now let me get some practice with this In the right hands? I'm not gonna lie, that is a cool ass move. The fact that you gotta guess where the hell this dude is popping up at within, you know, even though the range isn't like all that, that's gonna save your ass in like some good situations. That's really gonna save your ass in some good situations. You say while hiding in the shadows, it can use Shadow Claw to attack oh wait hold on oh god oh that's crazy that's crazy now I'm not gonna completely just write out dark void in a nasty plot cuz you know, we don't know how strong that's going to be in an actual match. 
But seeing that, oh my God. Boy, that is, that's some crazy. Because I'm just, a, like, you got to think, Sarah Ledge has something similar to that already. And his is good. So when you have something like this, you know, it does put a smile on my face. I, I will not lie. I, I'm actually interested to see what that Unite move looks like when I'm trapped in it. Oh, God. Well, it don't look that bad. It ain't bad, but it does pull you into that that realm. So he, he's obviously going to be a better version of Gengar. Everything that people wanted with Gengar, they, they're pretty much going to get with him. And Gengar is going to be like a perfect, I would say, teammate, him and Snorlax. Because I think Snorlax has Yawn, and Yawn puts him to sleep. So I wish it was a way for me to test that out. But because I don't have any teams or anything like that that I can do in the test server, I can't put that theory to the test because I want to see if he gets those same bonuses when other Pokemon put him to sleep, such as, you know, Snorlax with Yawn or Gengar and Hypnosis. So that's going to be, I mean, Dream Eater, excuse me. Which I'm pretty sure it should. But yeah, man. Darkrai definitely has some moves that makes me want to use him very bad. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was my quick overview of Darkrai in the Pokemon Unite public test server. Please keep in mind, this is a test server version of him and that his main game version may vary. Um... I like the Pokemon. He's fast. He's sneaky. He's he has some good technical things about him that I like, and he actually gets me excited. I believe he's scheduled for release in October. Don't quote me on that. I didn't look it up before I made this, so don't uh, you know? Don't quote me on that. But I believe he's scheduled to be released in October. So. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this quick overview of Darkrai and the Pokemon Unite public test server. I will see you guys later, and I'll see you guys on Aos Island.